Hello everyone and thanks for joining me here. Uh, in this video we're going to be talking about the most straightforward and simplest uh, depreciation method which is called straight line. In straight line depreciation method a constant amount is depreciated yearly over the asset's life. In this uh, graph here you're looking at one example of straight line depreciation where the value of this asset or the initial value of the asset, in other words, cost basis was $900, and the salvage value is $70, and the depreciation was calculated over five years, and every year the depreciation is the same amount. And to find that depreciation amount for each year, you need to take the cost basis, which is 900 minus salvage value which is 70 over depreciable life which is 5 and that will give you 166 dollars depreciation each year again the key indicator that that's a straight line depreciation is that depreciation amount each year is the same if you were to calculate the book value at each year let's say book value at year 4 you need to subtract the total amount of deductions or depreciation for the past four years from the cost basis. So cost basis of $900 minus four times the depreciation deduction amount, which we just calculated, that is $166. So you can calculate that and that is equal to $236. Exactly the amount that you see here book value of year four. Book value at the end of year four is the amount that is remained to be depreciated. It's the undepreciated portion of the cost basis. So it's the simplest uh, depreciation method. Let's take a look at one example. This one says a surface mount placement machine is purchased for $98,000. It has an estimated useful life of seven years and a salvage value of $7,000. Determine the depreciation deduction for the fifth year and the book value at the end of fifth year using straight line depreciation. So let's break everything down to what we were given here. We know that uh, cost basis is $98,000 and then the depreciable life seems to be seven years so N is 7, and the salvage value is 7,000. And we're looking for depreciation deduction for year 5, and also book value for year 5. So we're looking for D5, and also book value of year 5. Well, we can simply follow the formulas that we have here. The depreciation deduction for year 5 is essentially the same as depreciation deduction for any other year. It is equal to B minus S over N. In this case, $98,000 minus $7,000 divided by 7. And when you calculate that, that is $13,000. Which means every year you're estimating to depreciate the value of this asset for $13,000. That can be part of your uh, deduction so you can pay less taxes by reducing your taxable income. And now we need to calculate the book value at the end of year 5. Well, book value of year 5 is equal to cost basis minus T times V sub T. And that is $98,000 minus 5 times the depreciation deduction for each year, which is $13,000. So if you do the math here, you will see that it is $33,000 book value at the end of year five. Well, graphically speaking, what's happening here is that uh, you bought this surface mount placement at $98,000. And the value of this uh, asset is going to depreciate over seven years until it gets to $7,000. So let's say this is year seven and 
This is the straight line depreciation that we're having here. And what we just calculated for book value of year five, we found that that this is $33,000.